I'm Ken Sanders. This is Ammo Can Library. E.E. E. Cummings has always been one of my favorite poets. I love reading him and reading him aloud. Edward Eslin covers love and death and life in ways that few poets ever do. I first became attracted to him, I think, in junior high school, and I've never lost my, my love of his poetry. He does an awful lot of experimental poetry that's visually uh, difficult, especially to try and look at and read aloud. Uh, the late, great Mae Swenson, our Utah poet, uh, did followed in his footsteps. The, the, it kind of became known as, oh, maybe one word for it would be concrete poetry. But he wrote in many, many styles. And uh, this is the E. Cummings Bible, his complete poems. It has been... Uh, reissued and edited over the years. This is one of, this is an older version. I think there's a more definitive one, but I'm going to stick with the, the version that I know. Uh, Got to get the magic spectacles out. I can't read anything anymore without the glasses. Buffalo Bill's defunct, who used to ride a water smooth silver stallion and break one, two, three, four, five pigeons, just like that. Jesus, he was a handsome man, and what I want to know is, how do you like your blue-eyed boy, Mr. Death? It's a universal poem, can be read at many, many different kinds of occasions I've found over the years, and I've certainly done so. Um, Edward Estlin wasn't big on titles. He numbered his poems. He just, I don't... He, he just, he never titled a poem in his life, to my knowledge. So, uh, this is uh, good old number seven. <laughs> my mind is a big hunk of irrevocable nothing, which touch and taste and smell and hearing and sight keep hitting and chipping with sharp, fatal tools. In an agony of sensual chisels, I perform squirms of chrome and execute strides of cobalt. Nevertheless, I feel that I cleverly am being altered, that I am slightly, am becoming something a little different. In fact, myself, hereupon helpless, I utter shrieks and scarlet bellowings. He can be cryptic, given. I'm a beggar, always, who begs in your mind, slightly smiling, patient, unspeaking, with a sign on his breast, blind, yes, I am this person of whom somehow you are never wholly rid and who does not ask for more than just enough dreams to live on. After all, kid, you might as well toss him a few thoughts, a little love, preferably anything which you can't pass off on other people. For instance, a plugged promise that he will maybe, hearing something fall into his hat, go wandering after it with fingers till having found what was thrown away himself tap tap taps out of your brain hopes life too carefully turning a corner never never bother you anymore if i love you thickness means worlds inhabited by roamingly stern bright fairies if you love me, distance is mind carefully luminous with innumerable gnomes of complete dream. If we love each shyly other, what clouds do or silently flowers resembles beauty less than our breathing? Love is a place, and through this place of love, move with brightness of peace, all places. 
Yes is a world, and in this world of yes, live skillfully curled all worlds. The trick of finding what you didn't lose. Existing's tricky, but to live's a gift. The teachable imposture of always arriving at the place you never left. And I refer to thinking rests upon a dismal misconception, namely that some neither ape nor angel called a man is measured by his quote, I, Q, unquote. Much better than which, every woman's who, despite the ultra machinations of some loveless infra world, a woman knows. And certain men quite possibly may have shall we say, guest, we shall, quote, quote, gifted she, and played the hostess to my more than me. I have to understand, uh, just some hesitations and stutters in these. You would have to, if you don't know the, the works of E.E. E. Cummings, uh, visually he's very, very complicated. He runs whole lines of words together. He he loves parenthetical notes within the poems. There's two dueling things going on. The man has bags and bags full of colons, semicolons, colon, uh, commas, and every other kind of punction, punctuation mark. And then he just makes stuff up. He makes poems that read as uh, almost as visual drawings and reading them, let alone reading them out loud, or even understanding them. It's taken me a lifetime, and I don't think I'm still very good at it. But E. e. Cummings, I'm still learning from him after 50, 60 years, and I love him still.